A production facility is capable of producing 60,000 widgets. There's our upper bound in a day. And their total daily cost of producing X widgets on any given day is given by the C of X. This is our total cost function, which is 250,000 plus 0.08 X plus 200 million over X. How many widgets per day should they produce in order to minimize production costs? So we're talking about cost. So clearly we want to minimize, not maximize. And we want to figure out what X value will produce that minimum cost and what that minimum production cost will be. So we're going to do this just like we would any other absolute max and min, even though this is a complicated function. We're going to take the derivative, set it equal to zero, find all of our critical numbers that are on our interval of interest, and then compare them to our bounds. So the least the amount they can make is zero, and the most they can make is 60,000. Before we take the derivative in our first step, though, I do need to take a moment to rewrite the original function. I see I have a fraction. I don't want to have to use the quotient rule, which I don't have to because I have x's in the top and the bottom. So I'm going to bring the x up as a negative exponent. So before I take the derivative, let's just rewrite c of x. We have 250,000 plus 0.08x plus 200 million. We're going to bring the x up to the negative 1. So it feels like we just did work, but is that the derivative? No, we didn't take the derivative. All we did was rewrite that x to the negative 1. Now I'm ready to take the derivative, though. So I'm going to call it c prime of x. The derivative of 250,000 is 0, because it's a constant. The derivative of 0.08x is just 0.08. It's our mini rule. And then the next one, I'm going to bring down the power and subtract one for the new power. So I'm going to bring down the negative 1, which is going to be negative 1 times 200 million, so it's going to make it a negative 200 million x to the a negative 1 minus 1 is negative 2. We're going to set that equal to 0. We're going to think about our solving options now to find this critical number. So we could have to factor. We would do that if there was an x squared. There's not. It almost looks like it because it's an x to the negative 2, but it's not an x squared. There's solving linear function. That's like if you had 2x plus 8. But that's not what we have here. We don't have a linear function where it's just mx plus b. We have a negative exponent, though. So we're going to use the method where we put negative exponents down in the denominator where they go. So I'm going to have 0 0.08 minus 200 million over x squared equals 0. So now I'm going to try to isolate x. This doesn't really follow anything we've done so far, but we might remember from algebra to solve for x, you need to get it by itself. So I'm going to move this piece over by adding it to the other side. So I'm going to do 0 0.08 on this side. And I'm going to add over 200 million over x squared, just to get x on one side by itself. That 0.08 didn't have an x, so I left it on the left. And I move this piece over here by adding it over. Next thing we could do to solve for x, we kind of talked about this with elasticity, getting rid of denominators. So I'm going to multiply by my denominator to bring it up. We did this when we made something unitary in exam 1, multiplied by the denominator to get rid of it. So I have 0.08x squared on the left equals 200 million on the right. And now I can divide both sides by 0 0.08. Still just working to get x by itself. This comes out to be a huge number in your calculator. It is 2.500 billion. It's a lot of zeros. I'm going to leave it like this because it is hard to write all those zeros and get it right. So if x squared is this 200 million over 0 0.08, which you could write out if you want to, it just looks like it has eight zeros on it, which is why I'm avoiding writing it. 
So we have x squared equals this, and now I want to get x by itself. So how do you get x by itself when you have x squared? Now we're ready to take the square root of both sides. So the square root of x squared is just going to be x. x is going to be plus or minus. Remember, square root of 25 is plus or minus 5. So this one is going to be the square root of 2.500 billion. But you plug this in your calculator just like this. I need parentheses around this fraction. Square root of 200 million divided by 0 0.08 ends up being plus or minus 50,000. Is that on our interval of interest? Well, the next step is to test all critical numbers on our interval. So clearly the least amount of widgets you can make in a day is zero. Can't make any less than that. The most they're capable of producing is 60,000. And now we have two critical numbers. We have positive 50,000 and we have negative 50,000. Do we have to test both of these? No. Negative 50,000 is not on our list. Even if that minimizes their production cost, you can't produce negative 50,000 of something. So this is not on our interval, which is awesome. That means we only have to plug in positive 50,000 because it's within our interval of interest. So where do we plug in to compare y values? We plug into the original. So plugging in 0 to the original, what do you get? 250,000 plus 0 0.08 times 0 plus 200 million divided by 0. What do you get for that answer? I'll give you a hint. It's not 250,000. Why is that? It's because when you plug in 0 to this last piece here, you get an error. So it seems like it would be 250,000, but dividing by 0, this is actually undefined, which is okay because we would never tell a company, hey, you're going to save so much money by not producing anything. Well, obviously, it would cost less to just not make anything. Don't even have a company then. But if we want to sell something, we're not going to tell them to produce zero a day. So it's okay that that's undefined. We would have never advised that that would be their production level each day anyway. But it is undefined. So now let's plug in 50,000 into the original. 250,000 plus 0 0.08 times 50,000 plus 200 million divided by 50,000. And you'll probably need parentheses around this fraction here in order to plug it all in one step on your calculator. What you should get is $258,000 even. It's the daily cost when producing 50,000 widgets. And if we compare that to plugging in 60,000, 250,000 plus 0 0.08 times 60,000 plus parentheses 200 million divided by 60,000, you should get 258,133 dollars. And that three keeps going, so I'm going to stop at cents. So $132.33. So what would you advise for our answer here? How many widgets should they produce? And what's their minimum cost going to be? So remember, we want to minimize instead of maximize. We'd rather have $258,000 than 258133 Our conclusion then is they should produce 50,000 widgets per day. for an absolute min daily cost of $258,000. So notice if we plugged in zero wrong, we might be tricked. Like if you thought it was just going to be 250000 you might be tricked into thinking they should produce zero. So be super careful when you're plugging back in. If something's undefined, make sure you write it as undefined.